Good morning and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're glad you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, we're glad you're back as well. Um, today we are heading to the airport to Austin um, to fly to Charleston, South Carolina. Um, his brother has a retirement ceremony tomorrow um, from the Navy. So we're going up there to celebrate that with him and spend some time with family, much needed time with family as well that we haven't seen in quite some time. Yeah, about eight years. Yeah, and meet nieces and nephews we've never met and one's, what, eight now? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, but we are fixing to head to the airport here shortly. Um, don't know what we're in for. We're going quite early. Uh, we have heard that the lines have gotten outrageous at the Austin airport through security lately. Once they lifted the mask mandate on the planes, I think everybody just went crazy and decided to start flying. So hopefully it doesn't take us forever, but of course I will let y'all know. Um, and then we're going to venture around the airport, um, of course get some lunch before we get on the plane. Um, but we're going to bring you along and I will record whatever I can. Um, like I said, I don't know how much time we'll actually be spending with family and versus on our own. But uh, whatever we get up to, as always, we will bring you along. So we will check in again here shortly. We're staying at the Comfort Inn and Suites Convention Center. Yeah. It's a pretty nice hotel. The room's okay. It's dangerous. It's next <laughs> to Waffle House. Yeah, one of our, our uh, favorite restaurants is next door. Um, we only get to eat it once a year when we go to Galveston, so we might eat that. Before we leave, we got to eat it. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I didn't check in the, in the airport because it was very, very, very busy. It didn't take us too long to get through security actually. I think we were in and out of security what, maybe 10 minutes. If that. <laughs> Except for me, I went beep, 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 and they had to pat me down. And then it took my deodorant because I packed too many sides. So we had to go um, get another deodorant tonight. But that's okay. So we are both exhausted. Um, we're going to go get the bite to eat. We're going to go hang out with family for the rest of the night. And we will check in with you first thing in the morning and uh, see what we get up to. Like I said, we have a ceremony. It starts at 9 tomorrow. So there'll be a few hours um, that we don't record or do anything like that. So um, I know I didn't record a lot today, but usually don't on travel day because you're traveling. You're in an airport, you know. So, but anyways, so we're going to say goodnight. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is very early. It's about 6.30. Um, 
We're going to head down, see what they got for breakfast. Breakfast started about 30 minutes ago. Then we're going to go back and get some dressed and head over to the church for the ceremony. I'll take you down and show you what they have for breakfast because I don't even know. Um, and then we'll get this day started. So it looks like they got some juices, cereal, uh, some fruit, bread, biscuits, danishes, assuming this is gravy. No, no, grits. Sausage and eggs. And then some yogurt. So now we're going to see what we can get. And we will catch up with you later. <laughs> okay, guys. So I thought I'd show you what we got. Um, after I told y'all we would check in later, I turned around and in the corner they had a waffle maker. So I got some waffles, some coffee, some orange juice. He also got waffles and some eggs and sausage. And he already drank his orange juice and he's got his coffee there. So we're going to go ahead and get this eaten and then go back up to the room and get dressed.
We stand for the arrival of the official party, referring the colors, national anthem, and re Chief Petty Officer, United States Navy, or I am. Color Guard, parade the colors. Wilson. Well, the guests please be seated. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to a special case of marketing and retirement of the Chief Petty Officer Thomas Storms. We are gathered this morning to witness the final stage in a very fruitful and fulfilling productive 24 year military career. We are also gathered, gathered to say thank you. To an outstanding shipping and Chief Petty Officer, thank you for your many contributions that have been in their own unique way to enter an even stronger and more capable force. Chief, just as is the end of one phase of your life, it is the beginning of another. So we wish you and your family every success in the future as we look forward to your new challenges and rewards. On behalf of Commander Mission and the entire staff of Naval Consolidated Bridge Charleston, I extend an especially warm welcome to Chief's wife Jessica and the rest of the Chief Storms and family. I speak for the entire command when I say how pleased we are to have you here today. Attention to award. Department of the Navy, this is certified that the Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Accommodation Medal, Gold Star in lieu of fifth award, to Chief Yeoman, Surface Warfare, Air Warfare, Information Warfare, Thomas N. Sorensen, United States Navy, for meritorious service while serving as Command Duty Officer, Command Evaluator, and Administrating Leading Chief Petty Officer, Naval Consolidated Brig Charleston from October 2019 to August 2022. As Commanding Duty Officer, Chief Sorensen led a team of 14 multi service personnel combating two separate fires, preventing further damage to the facility and saving the Navy thousands in repair costs. As, a, as the Administrator Leading Chief Petty Officer, he flawlessly led his team in the execution of 800 pieces of correspondence, 40 evaluations, 30 awards and over 30,000 travel authorizations. Chief Sorensen's superior performance highlights the culmination of a 24-year honorable and dedicated service. By his exceptional professionalism, initiative, and loyal dedication to duty, Chief Sorensen reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the high tradition of the United States Navy. Given this 10th day of June, 2022, A. Holsey, Rear Admiral United States Navy, Commander of the Naval Personnel Command. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. 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 To Ms. Jessica Sorensen. Today, after completing 24 years of active naval service, your husband has endured a career of honorable and faithful service to his country, and his efforts are sincerely appreciated. Such a rich and rewarding career reflects a strong commitment to the principles of freedom and democracy, and the belief that they must be upheld at any cost. That type of total commitment is not possible without the full support of the entire family. Although you may never have to carry out military work or deployed into hostile waters, your loyalty and steadfast support of your husband's career can rightly be viewed as service for our country. That loyalty and dedication are significant forces of strength for your husband during arduous duty and exemplify the high traditions of patriotism. On behalf of the grateful nation, the Department of the Navy, and the officers and crew of Naval Consolidated Bird, I extend to you sincere thanks and express our appreciation for a job well done. Given on this 10th day of June 2022, J.L. Minty, Commander of the United States Navy, Naval Battalion Air Brigade, Charleston. <laughs> According to some accounts of Naval history and tradition, when a sailor retires and is departing the ship,
ship the last time, it is considered bad luck for the sailor's shadow to touch the man before he does. Thus, the sailor's ship may construct a sturdy box, handcrafted with the finest materials in which to display the memento of the sailor's accomplishments, thereby symbolically creating a shadow of the sailor. The box safely contains the sailor's shadow until he is safely ashore, at which time the shadow box can be given to the sailor in the presentation ceremony. Historically, when a sailor would join a ship's crew, he would join that ship for his entire career. During the sailor's voyages to ports of call around the world, he would collect many trinkets, souvenirs, and reminders of his travels. Naturally, as space for the ship was at a premium, these items tended to be small. When the sailor piped ashore for the last time, his ship being sought to a, a special ceremonial box was constructed for him. The box would hold all the possessions that had been collected during the, those many voyages. It would simultaneously symbolize the sailor's career and time aboard the ship. Ideally, a shadow box serves not only as a reminder of achievements and accomplishments, but also as a summation of a culmination of a career. A shadow box should enable a stranger glancing at its contents to gain a substantial understanding of the owner's past service and achievements. I truly appreciate that you being here. Taking time out of the day and your lives to share with me and my family this huge milestone. Uh, special thanks to those that have traveled to be here. We got people from Far Lakes, California, and Texas, and as close as just up, up the street in South Carolina. Um, I've been struggling the last few weeks on what to say. It's hard to express the gratitude I have to all of you, but especially my family. These stories are now presented with the United States flag. The first goal of our flag is the symbol of life. The second goal is the symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third goal is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans of the party of our ranks who give a portion of their lives for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth goal represents our weaker nature. For as American citizens trusting in God, it is to Him we turn to in times of peace, as well in time of war, for His divine guidance. The fifth goal is a tribute to our country, for the words of Stephen Decatur, our country. In dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but it's still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is for our hearts alive. It is with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces. For it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all our enemies whether they are found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth form is true to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day. The ninth form is a true to womanhood and mothers, for it has been through their faith, their love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great has been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to the Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters to the defense of our country since they were first born. 
Hmm. The eleventh fold. Represents the Lord who took the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in the Hebrew eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold. Represents an emblem, an emblem of eternity and glorifies in the Christian eyes. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The thirteenth fold, are where the flag is completely folded. The stars are uppermost, reminding us of our country's of our nation's motto, and God we trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it takes on the appearance of a top hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms that we enjoy today. everybody um we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here it's about 10 o'clock i uh, hope you enjoyed today's video let me cover my head with that light back there um i would have already put in the vlog um a little bit of the retirement ceremony that we went to for his brother today we had a really good day of spending time with family enough so that we extended our trip another day so we're very happy about that so tomorrow we are going to, we're going to head down to Charles, downtown Charleston a little early, um, go to the city market, walk around, uh, meet everybody about 1030 for some barbecue. Yeah, something Joe's, from what we were told, it's supposed to be the best barbecue in the state. Yeah, so we're going to go and check that out. Um, See how it compares to Texas barbecue. Yeah, because we're used to Texas barbecue. And I, not that nasty Lockhart barbecue. <laughs> I lived here years ago in, in Charleston, actually Goose Creek, where we've very much, pretty much been the last couple days. Um, I didn't particularly care for the barbecue when I lived here because it's more of a vinegar-based barbecue um, sauce and everything like that compared to what we're used to in Texas. Um, but his brother said it's really good. So we're going to go and check that out. Um, and then we're going to go to the beach, which we're really excited about. We had to go buy swimsuits because we didn't bring ours because we weren't expecting to go to the beach. So, um, and then after that, I don't know. We'll probably come back, get some showers, maybe meet back up for dinner or something like that. I don't know. So, but again, I hope you enjoyed today. It didn't show a lot of traveling around. Um, when we went to lunch... Um, it was very loud in the restaurant when we went to lunch, so I didn't film in there. Yeah, but surprisingly, with the with it being a Mexican joint compared to what we're used to, it was, at, in my opinion, it was pretty. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. Um, I like the guacamole. I said it. Was, I told, said it um, reminds of um, Cozumel. It, yeah, it reminds me of the. Guacamole, yeah. we got it. Cozumel and Mr. Sancho's. Yeah. So it was pretty, it was pretty good. Some um, good stuff. So, um, and tonight uh, we were outside. It was very hot, muggy. Um, there was a guy play, playing music, singing. So 
I couldn't record even if I wanted to. Uh, it was so loud. We were having a hard time hearing each other talk. So, um, but it was very enjoyable. We had a great time. I promise I will show you more tomorrow. Um, like I said, a lot of the today was the ceremony, traveling back and forth, uh, stuff like that. So I don't think you really want to driving a whole lot because that's pretty much we did all day or we were sitting enjoying time with family. And I'm sure y'all understand that. We haven't seen this part of the family in eight years. Yeah, eight years. So I've talked to them, but I have not seen them in eight years. Last time we saw them was at Thanksgiving eight years ago. Mm -hmm. okay. When my sister was pregnant with my second oldest niece. Yeah. Yeah. So we've never met the and kids. So. They had just found out at that time. Yeah, I think she was maybe a month or so. Yep. So but again, here we go. We're having one on again, honey. It's all right. We like to do that, don't we? It's all right. So <laughs> that happens. At least it's not negative. True. It's never negative depending on your outlook. Very true. So uh, we're going to hop off here. We're going to take some showers and get in bed because we're going to be up early in the morning. Um, headed down to Charleston downtown and look around before we need to meet up with them. So The well, best part about where we're staying? I know where he's going with this. Next to a Waffle House. Love that, but we can't. There's no dining. The dining room ain't open, but we're next to an open waffle house. Yeah, we got some last night. Like I told y'all, um, we were gonna get some uh, after we come back last night. We were both kind of a little hungry, so we got something to eat. And it wasn't the best waffle house we've ever had. I'm gonna be honest with that, but it was waffle house and it was good. We might try a different one before we leave. Um, like I said, I wasn't too impressed with this one, but it literally is where we park, we park beside it. So it's right here. So, yep. yeah, but it's so far, I mean, yes, we extended our trip and it's been nice. She's been here before, lived here before. This is my first time this side of Lake Charles, Louisiana. So it's nice. Yeah. So. And I, I tell her, look. There's the grocery stores and everything you tell me about, like uh, Piggly Wiggly. And you... when I first told him about a Piggly Wiggly, he was like, "What is that?" And I said, "Something lion or something like that." <laughs> Food lion. Yeah, that thing. If you're not from this area, you're not going to know what we're talking about. They're grocery stores, um, like home in Texas. We don't have Piggly Wigglies. We don't have Food Lions. We have H E Bs. H E Bs and Super S. Well, depending on where you're at. Depending on where you are in Texas, uh, up towards Houston and stuff, they have Berkshire Brothers, which is a smaller chain of grocery stores. They're not even real big grocery stores. They're on the smaller side. And they have all these. Yeah, we have. Others in Houston here. Well, there's one in Austin, too. There's uh, yeah. several in Austin. But there's not an Aldi where we live, which is kind of sad because there's some things I like to go in there and pick up pretty cheap at Aldi. But. Yeah. But it's, it's where it's where we're. Kind of like they say, opposites attract. Because she used to be in the whole rodeo, barrel racing lifestyle. Me, no, I was completely opposite. I was in the city. You're a city boy. I say I'm a Heinz 57 because I am a military brat. Been all over. Well, you were born in Germany, so you yep. really are my Heinz 57. And another, which is kind of say opposites of tracks she's been on the eastern side of the u.s and i have literally been to every state on the western u.s and i hadn't until we minus, went to vegas minus alaska and hawaii yeah so i'd never been on that side he's never been on this side and i have and he's been on the other side so um yeah it was kind of weird when we, when we met and we figured that out so but anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the vlog here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying not to get that light behind me to turn it off. But we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. We will see you all in the morning. Um, and we were going to be heading downtown. We're probably going to go by the cruise terminal because, what did you say? The sunshine is supposed to be, be in port tomorrow. And go see the terminal before it closes. It. What did you say? In 24, the contract ends? 
Yeah, and that, believe it or not, that was one of the ships we were supposed to go on. Yeah. Years ago, we were supposed to go on the sun. When they first turned it over into the sunshine, we were supposed to go on it. Yep. Um, yeah, they're, in 24, the contract ends here, and South Carolina and Charleston, they're not re renewing. Unless, you know, y'all probably heard about all that. John Hill posted stuff about it and everything like that. There'll still be cruise ships here, but not Carnival. Yeah, Carnival, they're not renewing it for some... I think, from what we understand, they're redoing the terminal. They're doing a whole bunch of stuff, and maybe after that they might bring them back, but for now they're using it for something else when their contract ends. So, which is kind of sad because we thought about cruising out of here one day, but it's before they close it down, we're, we're not going to, so. Because we already have the Prima in 24. But at least we'll get to see a ship here. Yeah, so we will go by tomorrow. Um, we'll have to get up early because, like I said, we have to meet them and everything like that, so. But we will go by and we'll see and Hopefully I can record a little bit of it, depending on, like I said, I've never been to the port here in Charleston. So, but anyways, we're going to, I know I've said it before, but this time we are. We're going to, we're going to end the vlog here <laughs> and we will see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.